Our second technique is based on the feature-based image morphing algorithm published by Bayer and Neely in SIGGRAPH 92. I select a rectangular region, then uniformly scale it. Notice how outside the handle, distortion falls off with distance from the selection. I can drag the handle around to focus on other regions. All of the nodes that fall entirely within the handle are uniformly scaled, preserving distances, order, and proportionality. Although the morphing function is not invertible, we can still allow editing. This is possible because we uniformly scale regions within the handles. To map a new node back to the undistorted view, we just use the position relative to the handle vectors in the morph layout. Notice how we have used different shaped handles in this example. Handles can actually be any closed polygonal region, since the morphing algorithm is expressed as a contribution of vectors. Our circle handle is approximated by eight vectors. Instead of manually enlarging a handle, we can enlarge it automatically. The transition is animated to maintain visual continuity, much like node selection in Xerox Park's cone trees. As I drag this new handle around, I can see some of the changes I've made. Now with two regions enlarged, I edit in both of them simultaneously to show the potential of this technique. Hierarchical abstraction is an important tool used in conjunction with morph stretching. This example is a call graph for the orthogonal stretching program. I can zoom one region to examine it in detail while seeing how it relates to the other modules. If I enlarge a second region, their complex interdependence becomes apparent. This final example is a potential application of our technique. Due to the performance of our system, we have had to speed up this segment. For the sake of accuracy, we have included a clock above the map, ticking real time. We enlarge several states to see their cities and highways in detail. Here, morphing can allow us to get enough detail for local navigation, while maintaining our understanding of where these roads connect nationally.